Hello and welcome back to Purple in Peril. This is level 23, coming to you live from the centre of Even Evening Star, the Evening Star Well. And this level marks the point at which we are going for all out with the uh, uh, metamagics on the Tempest and the Tentacles. In fact, uh, come level 24 we're going to have Intensify on those as well. The reason being we've got this wonderful evergreen enhancement in the uh, primal avatar so this is the new state of the the enhancements as you can see i've just kept a bare minimum in draconic for the uh, draconic rage one more for the second core in there i like uh, well the reduced cost is nice on the spells but also the issue materials because i <laughs> we go through a fair few materials with the uh, tentacles and what else do we use materials for i think there must be a few oh displacement as well uses a material doesn't it anyway it's nice just to not be able not have to pay too much attention to that but the main focus of attention here is this now these lovely tier threes we've got three in there gives us the evergreen um when using the mantle of nature which is handy for us anyway it's giving us extra damage on on uh, hits but um a chance and it's a good chance as well to get 100 temporary spell points for a minute so that's really really nice and it's gonna even with all these uh meta magics on these two aoe's it's gonna mean we can use and abuse them and still not run out of uh, mana so awesome stuff and this double damage of shard storm is nice on its own but then um for 12 seconds when used we've got 25 percent of the maximum hit points as temporary hit points my maths is shocking but that should uh once in reaper and with the um with the beast hide thing on that should equate to a good few hundred so add that to the shining through and possibly the stanch as well and bear in mind that's going to be used uh, every what's the cooldown on that maybe every 12 seconds or so because it's only costing 20 spell points so that's another nice little temporary hit point buffer we're going to be gaining so it's happy days uh gear wise as well we have had what am i doing i'm not going to find gear in enhancements am i we've had quite some changes as you see some poor guy stuttering around the middle of the uh the marketplace area oh dear look at this is that fellow stuck or is he just staying there yeah this is a an exa a typical example look here of the uh the state the current state of orion for anybody anybody who was uh doubting it anyway i'm not going to be a doomsayer uh we're here to discuss the gear so let's get on with it the armor and the shield you already know the scepter is the same so are the boots the rest of the stuff i've basically just upgraded with um new kenneth crafted versions that i had already for for use with my main character so we've got an upgraded necklace there uh yes it's going to show it to us uh festive con there the, the festive diamonds are minimum level 22 and they come from various uh special events in the game like the winter event the snow slide thing and the halloween event the night revels they stack with everything else so that's nice uh, we've put the Pansophic Circlet back on there. Quality potency is going to help all spell powers. And some of them, insight, Insightful Potency is going to help some of them as well because I've only got the main spell power on stuff like uh, Positive, which is on the gloves. I've started doing some Devotion spell power, being as we've got a heal now, the Cocoon. And in the fullness of time, we're going to have the... I can never remember what the hell it's called, the one in the uh, Sentinel Tree, Renewal. 
excellent heal best uh, quick healing game that super low cost super low cooldown takes metas nothing not to like there um i've, I've disturbed myself again on that so yes uh pansophic circle now the glasses i did have a potency on the glasses it was the dusk uh, lenses from the shan set so now we've gone to this is uh, my caster druid who uses these for leveling but uh, we can use these as well on the warlock evocation focus isn't bad so that's going to help our blast to hopefully do a bit more full damage to targets it's also going to help the arcane tempest now 48 in sort of early epic it's not amazing by any means you can get 48 uh, saves in heroic with a decent setup and gear but neither is it terrible i'm sure there's going to be some things failing that and giving us decent damage on that tempest and tempest remember if you if you stay if the opponent stays in it beyond the initial save there is no save then they just get hammered so that's great for us too uh the trinket is just an upgrade of what we had before so radiance and insightful corrosion spell sight i think is duplicated on this uh diamond of spell craft in there we've got a, a sapphire of good luck for saves there i've put the mysterious cloak here because i didn't have anything else to put in the cloak slot and stacking magical resistance and healing amp is very nice diamond of balance will help us uh, actually we shouldn't be getting knocked down too much because we've got this um float above the ground immune to most do knockdown effects it says most not all so i guess we'll see uh, these rings are just upgrades from what we had before so we've got sheltering uh, radiance law for the light crit chance festive charisma uh, the gloves we've seen here we've got impulse which is the force spell power festive wisdom because it's come from a druid and topaz of evocation for the same reason but the evocation again we can use as well here it's not like it's useless kinetic law for force uh, crit chance insightful con is great for this build and the braces spell saves is very nice i think you've seen that before on plenty of the gear a stacking bonus to um to effects that come in from say from spells so let's say our our normal fortitude save is a 59 and we get a death spell cast on us we would have an effective 68 using that so that's nice parrying very nice again insightful bonus to saves the AC, as I've mentioned before, ours is absolutely derisory for uh, any kind of a tanky build. That is appallingly bad. So uh, we're, we're using basically the PRR and MRR and the temporary hit points plus the displacement as our defence. The armour class it's, might as well be non-existent there for all that is. It says 40% chance defence at level... Uh, uh, I just 64 is just pathetic but these these numbers are getting pretty good to my mind anyway I'm I'm seeing a an improvement in our defensibility with that so I'm not uh, not too unhappy with that I think we've been around all the gear there let's just have a quick check where we're at with the spell powers so mid 400s on the ones that matter the acid force and light so that's that's not too shabby and the crit for all of those is in the early 20s so again not too shabby not too unhappy with that at all and i've remembered even remembered to click the utter dark blast so we'll be using the light okay uh, i thought we might have a go against my better judgment at this um don't drink the water quest the evening star well i say against my better judgment because um the end boss for this is a is it an acid or poison dragon 
whichever one it is, I think we're going to have a rough time with our poison and acid stuff. So we're going to have to lean on our uh, tempest and, and tentacles to try and damage the thing, I think. But still, I think there is a shrine reasonably close to the end of that. And against the, the other stuff leading up to it, I would like to think we'd be in reasonably good shape. <coughs> Everything toggled on that should be, I think it is. Now this is the first outing at level 23 with the evergreen thing and the new gear. Remembering to click my potions, it's a miracle. Okay. After a surprisingly long climb down the well, you find yourself in a cavernous expanse. You can see that the well water is fed by a fetid underground stream. Now let's just see if we can uh, walk past a few of them and then encourage them to, to bunch up in a nice big... Oh my god! A nice big group! I hope it doesn't degenerate into a total lag fest. Nice. Okay. Now I've got to remind myself we're we're uh, totally uh, able to throw the big spells in all the time here. So let's go for it. They should always be on cooldown, those babies. See, look at the temporary spell points there. I need to make full use of that. Any group that comes like this, they just need to be hammered. Next on my shopping list to boost our power up a bit more is the uh, imbues, the the water lies uh, imbue above dice in the you will need draconic in and um, primal trees. I can get three imbue dice out of each, I think. Boom. Let's go. The cabin ahead looks different. You must be close to the surface once again. A Yuan Ti priestess has raised a magical barrier, preventing you from passing further. No prisoners here. Where are the rest of you? Come on, I'm not wasting a big boom on just one. Yuan Ti appear, emerging from impossible high fences of the good now did that spell even work yes a bit of a delay there okay let's go get that boss I'm not even really paying attention now to the uh, spell points which is lovely the magical barrier blocking your way dissipates. Okay. Something seems wrong with the dryad in this cave. The water must be poisoning its tree. I think this is the uh, barrier can be seen up ahead. Oh no, we've got to take this druid first. We have to kill the tree. Oh, we killed the tree already. My god. Okay. I think they come in sort of ones and twos now, don't they? Which 
which is not ideal. I would really prefer them to uh, warm us. Totally frozen there. Okay. I'll say again on a, a laggy server, this build is a damn good one to have because several times I've been lagged out completely and come back to find the opponents all dead. And my character still standing on full health, with the ticking aura restoring all the uh, health to it. So for those of you contemplating a, a go in the hardcore league next time, I think you could do a lot worse than go for an aura warlock build. It's not going to set any records for uh, quick kills. But, uh, as the old saying goes, you don't do any damage if you're dead. You find yet another Yuan T barrier. You must be on the right track. Get the old shining through going. So the more con we've got, how much con have we got now? 68 we're up to with the new gear. That's quite respectable for lower epics. And this, there's going to be no more changes to the gear as far as I know until the legendary Pansophic Circle at 28. This is the gear that's going to take him all the way up to the, the top. At least that is my hope. Wow. That was the uh, Tempest and it just blew everything away. Let's try the old tentacles in there. Yeah, these, these method, um, method spell spells now are uh, totally annihilating stuff. I'm not even making a dent in the spell point pool, which is lovely. Uh, there would be a shrine there if we needed it. The dragon's just around the corner. Now this is where we could run into some trouble, because I'm sure he's going to be immune to at least part of our attacks. That must be the source is he of the a poison or an acid dragon? The great beast it looks like poison. Green is poison, speaks. isn't it? The little ones promised well for this. So let's hit the him with the, the spells I'm first. There's no need to rush. You know I'm always told not to play with my food. Now he's putting uh, poison on us, isn't he? So let's uh, regularly take the neutralized things. He's, he's so high up, I can't tell what is resisting and what not. I think he's immune to both acid and poison, so the SLAs are pointless. So we'll stick to the force and tentacles. I think I'm going to stick with the aura for my temporary hit point. You are testing my patience, small one. I will melt the flesh from your bones. That's it, you give our big spell a chance to cool down. Or maybe I should blast him from, from here if he's not going to come to us. Send the two big spells down on him. And if he wants to be like that, I'm quite happy to sit here. Okay. 
get the old tainted spell casting for a bit more spell power. Watching the cooldowns on the big spells. It just takes my um, my big blasts out of the equation if he do, if he's going to do that. I hope he just sits there in the spells. I think he's going to keep our temporary hit points nice and high. So we can only do light and uh, oh, we have light no light damage on our um, imbue and also on our blast and that's all the damage we can do to him. We can't hit him with acid or uh, or poison, but our tentacles and um, tempest are doing force, and that's kind of what's carried us through here. I think. Oh, hang on, let's just get rid of that while we're at it. Yeah, that that poison stuff, it uh, stacks up on you, and if you don't uh, do the um, poison antidote, that can start doing some serious damage quite quickly. So it's definitely good to have those uh, antidotes around for this quest. I guess that's one of the reasons why the res shrine is there after the quest. Well, I thought that went pretty well. That's a good sign for uh, for things to come for the leveling process. I'll call that one a do there. Thank you very much for looking, and I will speak to you soon. Take care.